uh, what not to do so that they can keep their, their credit file uh, in good standing. So I'm gonna pass it on to you and uh, let's go with the first, which is, I believe is uh, co-signers, correct? Yes, that is correct, absolutely. So co-signer, be careful guys. I know it sounds great, you know, that we have family and close friends of ours that always offer to, um, you know, want us to help them, but it can also be a risk because the reason why I say that is that if something happens, you become a co-signer for a primary account, Yes, you are also held just as 100%, follow me, 100% responsible as the primary, all right? So whatever reflects on that primary reflects also on the secondary, which is the, the cosigner. So the same liabilities are shared under the same roof, guys. So be careful with cosigner. It could be as, as good and tempting, but it could also be a trap for anyone who, or who is not understanding, who just don't, don't realize the consequences that can come behind that. Um, and, you know, my thing is like, I always share with people, I went through that, but I always want to help people understand, you can do it on your own, no co-signer needed, and you can excel where you need to be as, 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 as far as um, getting qualified for an approval for auto loan, eventually a mortgage or personal loan, things of that nature that fall in that category without even having a co-signer. It's all about just re uh, building your credit right, uh, getting yourself established, and then going out there and doing it the right way. Okay, so that's what... I would share about cosigner. Be careful. Cosigners is is a, a very delicate thing to do, especially when you cosign for people that are not uh, directly in your circle, like uh, um, a close family member or something like that. You have to be very careful, and you must know the person. Like I find a lot of people that they want to purchase a home, but they were a cosigner for a friend, and what happens? That friend maybe didn't wasn't as responsible as the person thought he was and then he goes out or she goes out and sign up for a vehicle for this person and then all hell break loose i mean the person have an accident get sued they take the car away and you know the debt they don't take away so you That's still fine. gotta pay some kind of way and if you're the co-signer then now you're responsible for all these liabilities and you know that uh, a lot of people have come to find, find out the hard way that being a co-signer is not something that you, have, you should take lightly. I mean, it's something that maybe you can do for maybe your uh, daughter or son, or maybe your mom, or for somebody that you know very close that, you know, it's not gonna get you in trouble and it's going to be able to pay their debt. And even Absolutely. when you do it like that, right? I think uh, you, ha you have to know that there's certainly degree or level of responsibility on your part, because if something happens to that person and you want to keep your credit profile in good shape, then you're going to probably have to take over that debt eventually, right? Absolutely. 